all-american build today we've been working on the 65 Chevelle we did some adjustments to the Falcon as well we just fitted the drive line uh, we just measured the drive line we got the motor in the 65 Chevelle we got all the motor mounts in we got the fuel line on we got the linkage to the throttle hooked up we're missing this piece that goes here we're missing the ball on the side of the block which I got to get I think they sell a kit she got the pulley Ethan and mom got the pulley on today and the alternator all the bolts in the motor mount except for the main pin bolts we just haven't tightened those down yet. Ethan, why don't you get two five eighths and tighten that down? I went ahead and seen if the headers are going to fit on here. They're not the headers I want. They're spark plug or spark plug wire eaters, is what I call them. Not interested. I went ahead and I cut the floorboard to fit that small bench seat four speed sagging off. All tuned in. She shifts great. This car is really immaculate, really super nice. We're really going to town on this one. I got so many parts and stuff, I got to put them somewhere. So the sooner I can get everything into where it needs to go, the more safer and more parts are saved. Because this was a total basket case. I didn't even know what I was getting myself into. So far, I've been blessed with it. It's great. Hot rodding on its finest. You know, I said earlier that we were going to adjust the trunk lid. We got started up on other things. All our other parts for this car came along, so we got excited. We had to get them on. Name of the game, guys. Hot rodding. What do you think, Ethan? You having fun, son? Oh, look, she got a fuel filter on, too, as well. Very cool. The front one is bigger. Is it? Isn't that strange how they do that? But anyway, guys, South Dakota Prize to sit with the 605. A lot of work. We've got him a long way. This one will be running soon. We got some tires and wheels that we go. We're trying to figure out which ones we want. I wanted to do rallies, but then I think I'm going to go to Speedway and I think I'm going to buy some. I can't remember what the heck they're called, but they're chrome. They're polished aluminum. They're pretty nice. And keep in mind that this thing has been mini tub already in the back, which is very interesting how they did it. I don't know if you can see that through the lighting. That's all been cut out and all added in. It's really nicely done, really super nicely done lucky all this stuff is going to be all trimmed up and all sanded here pretty quick and all done all this stuff is going to be pulled out it's so old this car has sat for so many years but anyway guys keep on clicking progress in motion only can do so much in a weekend you know We got parts getting ordered Wednesday for this. And we don't have no back bumpers. Back bumpers or front bumpers, do we, Ethan? I just figured no. Or do we? Oh, you guys, we do got bumpers. Oh, look, it's here. Ethan. Yeah. We got bumpers, son. Oh, nice. See, parts can get lost. That's why it's so important to get this stuff done as soon as possible so you don't lose it. So it just doesn't it never gets put back but anyway guys all american build keep on clicking we'll see you guys next time oh yeah we got hood pins put on today too as well for the falcon so yeah this one is licensed guys this thing, i got license plates for this one i just don't got seat belt and stuff in it a little bit more electrical to do on it
We just got excited on the Malibu is all. Right, Ethan? Right on, guys. All-American build. Keep on clicking. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.